I got a question. Let's say there's a woman who's 30, who's a virgin, and then there's a woman who just turned 18, but she's slept with a hundred men. If a man has a preference for dating the 30 year old virgin over dating the, hold on, wait, let me think here. Or yeah, he prefers dating the 30 year old virgin. She is legally an adult, so I wouldn't consider either to be P word, but yes. which one do you think, like if a man was inclined to date one or the other, which one would be more P word? The 30 year old virgin or the 18 year old with a hundred bodies? How old bodies? is the man? 40. I mean, yeah, it's legal to date an 18 year old, but I still don't think a man that's 40 years old should be dating an 18 year old. Mm -hmm. so but you, I it seems yeah, like I this think he virgin, should go for the 30 year old virgin. But look at all the sexual what? experience that she's had. Cause you said it comes down, you know, Sexual the virgin would suck in bed. It's giving P word, mm -hmm. but she's a 30 year old virgin. Whereas the 18 year old has had a hundred sexual partners. But your question is what that, who should he, well, what which one more, is more P wordy? I mean, both. They're both. They're both of age, but I do think a 40 year old man, should he be dating an 18 year old? I mean, to each its own, but I yeah. just don't think. Yeah, they should. Yeah. Andrew has daughters in. You have daughters? So you. Yeah, four you, daughters, yeah. You would be okay with your 18 year old daughter dating a 40 year old man? Well, what would me being okay with it? Let's just assume I'm not okay with my daughter dating anybody because I'm a good dad, right? And that's all good fathers everywhere hate the fact that their daughters date anybody at any time for any reason. But the thing is, I've been thinking about this because I hear women say this a lot, right? And I only hear it exclusively from women. That it's gross or in some way icky if a 40-year-old man dates an 18-year-old woman. Are you saying that an 18-year-old woman is too stupid to date a 40-year-old man? I don't think you are thinking clearly at 18. Okay, well then why can you vote? Good so question. do you think that 18-year-old women shouldn't be able to vote? Are you saying 18-year-old women are smart enough to vote, but too stupid to handle their personal affairs when it comes to a relationship. I just want to make sure I get this clear. I think voting, I just don't, I can't really say the two correlate because getting involved <clears throat> with a 40 year old man, dating a man that has much more experience could use that to his advantage in many ways but, is different. So just that 40 year old out. man, if he has a lot more experience and he's way smarter than this type of thing, Clearly, he should be able to vote. Why should the 18-year-old who's too stupid to date the 40-year-old man be able to vote? That's what I don't understand. Stupid doesn't equal inexperienced. You could well, just then be what's the problem with them having a relationship? Not stupid. Dealing with yeah, the okay, man sure. They, so, they, they're, so if that's true, then what would be the problem with them dating? Well, for you, you said you have four daughters. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be a good idea for your 18-year-old daughter to date a 40-year-old man. Yes, no. I would advise my 18-year-old daughter not to date any man. No, with the, 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 that can't be a... I'm saying if your 18-year-old daughter said... How can it not be? Thanks. So any would include all 20-year-old men, 30-year-old men, 40-year-old men, 50-year-old men, and... ...include all of them, just some of them. But in this case, we're talking about a 40-year-old man and an 18-year-old woman, and I'm just curious... If you think an 18 year old uh, woman is so fucking stupid that she can't handle her personal affairs when it comes to dating, why do we let them vote? She never called them stupid. Yeah, I never called them stupid. And That's you. I'm I, just, I how you're, you're just, I just how you made a comparison. Nick, to did the, you do so? So going around the table, I'm just gonna get everybody's take on this. Do you object to age gap relationships? Let's say the age, let's put it at 30 and 20. Do you do you object to that age gap? Thirty year old man, twenty year old woman, yeah. You're fine with that? Wait, okay. Wait, we were talking about eighteen and forty. Yeah, so can we yeah. stick to eighteen and forty? We could. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to this before the audio cut out. In why it is again that you want eighteen year old girls to be able to vote if they're too dumb to manage their personal affairs when it comes to their life. Well then what would your objection be to it then? I think that men that are forty years old. Uh huh could manipulate you, could do a lot of things. No. I'm sorry, are you're you usually manipulated by people who are smarter than you? You're just not gonna or be dumber than as you. experienced. When you're 18, you're not gonna be as experienced as you would be at 40 years old. 
And so if you're inexperienced, as they get this goes back to my argument. If you're too inexperienced in the world to even manage your own personal affairs, why would you be experienced enough to vote on the issues that would affect me and the nation? You want to, do you want to explain that to me? I don't talk politics, so I'm... We're I'm, not talking politics. We're talking about voting. Okay, so I just think your argument is as strong as you think it is. I don't really see the comparison. When you're just involved, when you're dealing with a man day in and day out, that is a lot different than sending in a boat. Yeah, yeah is I, that not? okay, and you so still I realize answer. that everything on earth that we could possibly imagine that we make an analogy to are going to be different no matter what. Right. So I can say, for instance, oh, this tastes like chicken, but it's not actually a chicken. The reason that we're making the analogy that it tastes like chicken is so that you have some reference in your mind to what the thing tastes like. We're not actually saying it's the thing itself. So knowing that what I'm asking you here is if a man who is 40 wants to date a woman who's 18 and the woman who is 18 goes to you and says, I love him. I'm going to marry him because I love him. Are you saying that that shouldn't be allowed? I mean, people could do whatever they want. Do I think it's appropriate? No. What, like, what's actually problematic about there's it? She a, loves him. There, he loves her. There's a big power struggle there. <clears throat> well, hang on. There's a power struggle in every relationship, regardless. And, and of more age. so with a 40 and an 18 year old than Prove someone it. that's. No, that's not. That's not true for every relationship. One. There's no way you could ever demonstrate that that's true. You could say maybe the likelihood of it increases. But so what? The likelihood would also increase if he was a 21-year-old millionaire and she was a 21-year-old who worked at Starbucks. There would be a massive power imbalance. Would you say then that they shouldn't date? Would you? Mm -hmm. Are you married? You are? Can you tell me the age you got married? Around time. Like, were you in your 20s, 30s? Yeah, I was in, I was in my 20s, late 20s. Late 20s. Okay. So mm -hmm. do you think that your relationship or your, your your marriage with your wife would have survived if you got together when you were 18. Yeah. Okay, well, good for I you, mean, but I... But let us assume for a second that I'm wrong, and it wouldn't. Okay. So what? What would that have to do with anything? I just don't think you are going to make the best relationship decisions yeah. at 18 years old. That's and my it, answer. And yeah, no, not... I get it. I understand but this is kind of this has kind of become circular, right? So let's let's move back for a second. You're saying that the reason for this is because there's a power dynamic problem. She loves him, he loves hers not enough because there's a power issue. Isn't that what your objection is? I just think that if you had a I feel like our conversation I could get a better I, I could give you something better if you could give me what you would really, truly, honestly think about your daughter at 18 dating a 40 year old. Why would because, you need my position to know your position? She, I don't want my daughter to date a man her age or older than her or younger than her. That's just not going to happen, though. Great. But now you know my position. So back to your position here. I'm just Didn't curious. Is it the power dynamic issue? Is that what the problem is? All things equal, you have to choose between the 20 year old and the 40 year old for your daughter all things equal well all things couldn't be equal it's an impossible and illogical hypothetical in a vacuum so if you were to just say on age alone by itself with no other contributing factors i would probably choose for the 20 year old but so what what does that have to do with anything I th now let's add in a single variable okay. The 20-year-old uh, is a broke, destitute idiot, and the 40-year-old is not. Then I might choose differently, right, because it's not in a vacuum. So understanding that that is true, I can still explain to you that I would probably have the preference for this to youth, sure, but so what? That doesn't mean I see any in moral arrangement with a 40-year-old dating an 18-year-old. That's what I don't understand and need demonstrated. That's what I want to hear the actual problem with it is what? I think how you see it, Brooklyn, is kind of how I see it, where it's just like, what does an 18 and a 40-year-old have in common at all? Mm -hmm. You're not in the same walk of life at all. He's well, I, I can tell you what the distinction is. Uh, he really that. wants to have sex with her a lot, all the time, and she wants his money. That's what it is, right? That's, I mean, that's generally speaking what I think this arrangement would be, is that she would go for him because she thinks he's sophisticated and has resources, and he's with her because he really wants to fuck her. And that's if he what doesn't I think, have the resources? Essentially it would be. And if he doesn't have the resources and she's just with a 40-year-old man, then what? Because she, because she loves him? 
You think that I'm going to tell my daughter that she can't marry somebody that she loves and who loves her back? Well, you can't. That's really you weird. You can't really tell her anything. At the end of the day, she's going to make her own That's decision. right. So that's why we're just moving into why this is actually in some way some kind of problem. Why is this actually a problem? For me, I just, I think that we're thinking the same way. I don't have really anything in common with my mom other than she's my mom because we're just at different walks of life. Mm -hmm. And do I think it's the worst thing on a planet? No, because I, they're both legal, mm -hmm. but wait, hold on, I on do this it? whole no. commonality thing though, really quick for anybody here. Do you think like it's high on the totem pole that like the major thing you're looking for when it comes to a partner is things in common? Yes. Like if you don't, like I've never seen like a really attractive girl and been like, ah, uh, she doesn't like the same music as me. I think people connect on having things in common. Exactly. And what I does, don't wait, know you how you necessarily connect at 18 with a 40 year old. So I do agree yeah, with Brooklyn but, but, in that sense. I mean, well, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really curious, right? Why wouldn't there be tons of overlap and connections? So for instance, name a connection you would have with a 21 year old that you couldn't have with a 40 year old. I'd like to know, a single one. Well, most 40 year olds I f would feel like have a wife and kids. Okay, yeah, but this so, I mean, one that's doesn't. Not necessarily Hang on, one doesn't question. have yeah. a wife and kids. So can you name a single connection you can have with can a 21 explain. year old that you can't have with a 40 year old? Go ahead, the floor is open, name one. A 20 year high school reunion. A what? Or like, you know, like a high school reunion. I haven't had one yet, I'm 21. That's a connection? I'm just trying to like, you know, think, I guess so. You think that be. would be a basis for disqualifying? Do you think yeah, that would be you, a basis for disqualifying? Can you give me a single emotional or, or interest connection that you can have I with a 21 year old man you can't have with a 40 year old, years, honestly? I have a lot more experience and knowledge than I do you're not answering at 20 question. years old right now. I would say so you're not answering being in the same question. age or stage of life. Exactly. That's, That's what I just said. Okay, about so college oh, classes. then I'll just ask you the exactly. same question. Perhaps you'll answer. Going it. out. Can and you partying. can you name a single emotional connection or interest connection that you can have with a 21 year old man you can't have with a 40 year old man? I'd actually like to know the answer to the question. I think you question. would have form an emotional connection by being in the same stage of life, you're experiencing adulthood for the first time. And you can also form emotional connections with people who are outside of your experiences. You've heard perhaps opposites attract. You've heard perhaps that people enjoy traits in other people that they themselves don't have. There's don't all sorts of these types gonna, of emotional. Sorry. Yeah, so, so I'm just asking specifically then, what is that thing, that emotional connection you're talking about, what specifically there could you have with a 21-year-old you couldn't have with a 40-year-old? Neither one of your guys' brain is fully developed when you're 18 and 21. When you're 40, you're a full-grown man. Your brain is developed. Uh, uh, you've already no, know. 25. Yeah, 25. It's not. 25. Actually, 25, yeah. what, you, what you've done is you've taken finishes. one study, which is talking about the prefrontal cortex, and you've misread it, it's like not most one study. people do. Oh, oh, really? How many studies is it? I can tell you. Sorry, I didn't write it down. Yeah, I know. And, and can you name the study? No, I can't name wait, it. So no, wait. you can't name it. So the thing is, is like you're talking about the prefrontal cortex, and the thing is the prefrontal cortex begins to degrade after the age 26. People forget that part. It degrades. So if it degrades, then wouldn't that mean if you're a 40-year-old man that you have a degraded prefrontal cortex, whereas a 25-year-old woman would have a prefrontal cortex in her prime? So wouldn't that make you equal? Don't things start to degrade after they've reached like their prime? Right, so if it reaches its prime and it begins to degrade, but let's take a look at this attribute, right? You can have a fully developed prefrontal cortex even before the age of 26. You can have that. It's not even a problem to have. And you can have such minute differences. What if it only works at a half a percent better or a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of half a percent? That's why you can't extrapolate from studies like this. You can't take this and extrapolate that we can only consider you an adult at 26 because everybody's mind develops differently. So the question becomes this. And it, by the way, if that's the case, wouldn't only 26-year-old women be able to vote? Wouldn't only 26-year-old women be able to buy cars? Shouldn't only 26-year-old women be able to go out and enter into contracts with other people? I don't think anyone's saying that it should be illegal to date someone that's 40 years old. Right, okay, great. Then let's get back to this then. What emotional connection can you only have with a person in your age bracket you couldn't have in an age bracket of a person who's 20 years older than you? I think I already stated my answer to that. Wait, can I ask Which you was a what? To this idea of commonality, 
Couldn't you also argue, though, that there might be too much commonality between two 20-year-olds because they're both maybe emotionally immature? But if you had somebody with a younger girl, they might be a little bit more able to be like, okay, she's acting like this, but he has more emotional maturity because he has that experience that you guys are talking about. So he'd be able to be, in a way, more nurturing or at least more aware of how to deal with her. I think when you're with somebody that's your age, you're getting to learn and figure it out together. Do you think that all older women are super mature and always conduct themselves properly in relationships no. and all younger women are just these like chaotic, can't conduct themselves in a relationship? Is that your position? No. Because I can tell you from experience, I've had a lot of experience dating women in their 30s and 40s and they're just as, if not more, Neurotic. troublesome <laughs> than women in their 20s. From my own personal experience, my own anecdotal experience. In fact, women we've had on the show who tend to be in their 30s and 40s, post-show, create more issues for us by fucking trying to do reputation destruction. I'm dealing with it right now. 40-year-old women are the ones that are like trying to do reputation destruction, doing malicious shit than like some 20 year old chick or whatever, she got owned in an argument. I mean, I think, are they, these single women for the most part? Bitterness? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so they get more what? bitter as time goes on, so they're less, they would be less good matches for a partnership because they're bitter. Yeah, I would think so in general, but okay, I think so you then, can say the so same thing about men. From my experience, right, but you're older arguing. men that go for younger women, they are also embittered by life and they're jaded and they're looking for something that's easier. Okay, sure, let's exactly. assume that's true. Are, are they still selecting for what would be best for them? Yeah, but I think it's kind of selfish to do something for your own self-interest at somebody else's disadvantage. Well, that's really well, weird that because if that's the case, then you've kind of destroyed your own argument. If you're saying you shouldn't do this thing X based out of no, your you own self-interest, in this particular case, wouldn't you be telling any of these women to operate against their own self-interest? By telling them not to date an older man? If they wanted to date an older man, and this older man had resources, could take care of him, and they loved him. Well, I don't understand how it's not in their best interest to marry him. I mean, if all those things are true and they're actually like a good, genuine guy, sure, then that would be in their best interest. Because I think you're making up a scenario that's not representative of reality. Thanks. What's representative of reality? That a lot of times when older men go for younger women, it is <coughs> because they're looking for someone easier that they and can manipulate. So why are the younger women going for them? Because they are naive and they don't have real-world experience. They're going through a transitionary stage in their life where they are leaving their home and they don't know how to make sense of the world. So they have no accountability. You could argue that. Okay, so since they have no accountability, why can they vote? I mean, that's another discussion. No, I'm, I think it's a relevant that. discussion because we're either going to treat 18 year olds as adults who can make their own decisions or we're not. No, because an 18 year old could be very book smart, but that doesn't ensure that she knows how to deal with romantic relationships romantic relationships and being book smart is different that's why they say there's book smart and street smart you can't just yeah. put it all in one box she could be smart enough in the books got all straight a's and knows exactly what she yeah, no, could be the it. best she next candidate geography and history and she's great when it comes to politics but this would still beg the question of if she can't manage a relationship why should she get in any relationship you're bringing up why should she be able to vote if she can't be in a relationship, but I yeah, just what have I'm something saying, to do yeah, with dealing with the man romantically. If the issue is experience and knowledge, and she, can, she can't manage her own affairs because she can't be held accountable because she's too young, then why are we treating her like an adult? That's the question. I do want to get back really quick to the commonality thing. So you guys were saying, well, what does a 20-year-old, 30-year-old, or 20, 40-year-old, whatever it is, they don't have anything in common. Can you just articulate to me what men and women around the same age have in common? Or I'll even grant you, what do men and women have in common? I think it's all individually. Yeah, different. but what, what is something that you would have in common with somebody that would be, you have something so in common that you're going to choose with, to be with them on that basis alone? Maybe the way they view things in life. So couldn't, couldn't an 18 year old have the same values? as a 28 year old? They could, but they could have different experiences leading up to that. Okay. Graduating college, experience seeing like the bars, anything like that. Yeah, I got like your life. Okay, let me ask you a question. So let's, let's say you're, 30, you're a 30 year old man and you don't drink, you don't party, you never did. Maybe you went to a bar once and you want a partner 
who doesn't drink, doesn't party, doesn't go out to bars and clubs, do you have more in common with a 20-year-old who's never gone out to bars and never drank, or with a 30-year-old who goes to raves, goes to music festivals, parties every weekend, and is basically a borderline alcoholic? Who would be a better partner for who? Who has more in common with who? Are we doing the 18 and 40 now, or 20 we and can, 30? Any, it doesn't, it matter. doesn't really I matter. I'm okay, just giving you, it's still an age gap. No, I see what you're saying. I do agree. No, which, but answer the question, though. So okay. which one do you have more in, has more in common? Obviously, the two that have the most in common. Oh, so there is, a, is, there is a commonality. The ones that don't drink, yeah. But you're, I think sorry. the issue is more so how big the age gap is. It's like the older you get, I feel like it's more acceptable than... I mean, an 18-year-old is... Even though you're legally an adult could we all agree that you we were kids at 18 right yeah. looking back no, you're I, like can't, a kid, I can't agree to that no i can't agree that that i was a kid at at 18 no a kid I would allude to somebody who is not an adult no i would say i was an adult at 18 or say all of you were adults at 18 i think you're trying to infantilize women because you want to make men out to be predatory, but you can't make arguments for how they're being predatory. I'll I think regardless if the more, woman is 40. Mature. What this is, is this is typified loading of language. And you see this from feminist circles all the time. Wouldn't you consider yourself a kid at 18? No. And no, I wouldn't consider any of you to be kids at 18. I consider you to be adults at 18. I'm not gonna infantilize you so that you can say that men who want to date younger women are predatory. I would need an actual argument for why they were predatory. And so far I haven't heard one. I think That's what he's trying to get at is why do men all of a sudden become like more nefarious with age? Like I've heard girls talk about guys and awful things that guys will do and they're usually like college age guys. So to that point, like wouldn't a man who's more mature, more experienced, wouldn't he actually possibly be less nefarious than a 21 year old, 20 year old? That would be nice if that were the truth, but, but a lot of isn't times that, it's not. I think that's what it's going to is like your world, like the worldview that you think age as it gets, as a man is older, he becomes like more tactic and or like calculating and he's like, oh, here's this 18 year old. Maybe he just got a divorce because women initiate most divorces. He's now divorced and he wants to have a different life so he's gonna have to have a younger woman right would that be somebody who's like being calculated in a nefarious way or someone who's just saying yeah I want to still have a family I, I want my wife to be younger that wouldn't be calculated in a bad way you could find a young woman that's still fertile and not go for an 18 year old 20 sure. versus 30 is more acceptable 18 yeah even versus well 40s. I think we were just using the extreme end of the spectrum like a 40 year old and an 18 year old are you okay with sex work Yes. Okay, so what if a 40-year-old woman has sex with an 18-year-old man who pays her? Is that okay? I feel like either way, it could be predatorial. Yeah, but is it okay? So if the 40-year-old has an 18-year-old daughter and is hip to her age's culture, having been extensively involved in her life and her friends, is he unqualified to date younger based on commonality? He's just saying yeah, if a 40-year-old man has tons in common with an 18-year-old, why would it? he's just making the same claim. Like, why would that be a problem if they have a bunch of in common and they love each other? Back to, I'm, but, so back to Andrew's thing, he was asking a 40-year-old <laughs> S-worker with 18-year-old who, male who's mm-hmm. paying for it. A, paying I, for it. Paying for it. Oh, yeah, they're paying, paying for it. it. Yeah, well, that changes it. things. If he's paying for it. Why? Well, I don't understand. What's the difference? So what would be the difference then if a 40-year-old just wanted to have sex for free? I would just personally, if I had an 18-year-old son and he was messing with a 40-year-old woman, I I don't see that going over. Unless he was paying for it? I I don't know if this is going to get anywhere. Are we on? No, no, no. I think time? it's getting somewhere. It's getting to a great place. So uh, what if he's paying for it? Is it okay then? So if he goes, hey, mom, I just plowed a hooker. She's 40. I gave her some money. That's okay in your worldview? Just not if she does it for free? Well, dating versus just having a one-night stand, basically, are two different scenarios. Oh, so as long as 40-year-old men are just fucking 18-year-old women, it's fine. I think it's more P-word. Hang on, hang on. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Let me just talk to them for a second. I just want to make sure I get this right. 
As long as four-year-old men are just fucking 18-year-old women, it's fine. Just well, not having a relationship well, with Well, the 18-year-old woman, she does get to choose what she does with her body. If she wants to make her, mo- her money, because maybe she has rent to pay, whatever the case may be, she got to make means meet. That's different <laughs> than just dating a man. Wait, wait, wait. So uh, let me get this right. If the roles are reversed, a 40-year-old man only wants to hump 18-year-old women, why would that be a problem? If you're saying that a woman can hump 18-year-old men as long as the 18-year-old pays her for it. I feel the same no matter what. Like, you feel the same if, what? If, you just if, said if it was perfectly acceptable. If the gender acceptable. is reversed in the same situation, I feel the same way. I feel like women can be predators too. So then you think that sex workers should not be allowed to have sex with 18-year-olds. They can't do scenes with them. They can't do any of those types of things, right? That would be bad, wouldn't it? I wouldn't personally agree to it, but because they're of age to make their own decisions, then they can choose to do that. But I wouldn't say I would recommend that or that that's personally right, but they make their own decisions if they're paying for it and that's their source of income. (coughs) Okay, so what you're saying is that inside the porn industry, you would say it's bad for a 40-year-old to do an adult scene with an 18-year-old that that's like worse than if it was just a 30-year-old doing a scene with a 40-year-old? Yes, it's worse. Okay. And it's worse because the 18-year-old can't make these decisions? No. I believe I just said they're old enough to make their own decisions. Okay. But by this logic, wouldn't you say then that 18-year-olds shouldn't be involved in sex work at all? I wouldn't recommend someone so young getting into sex work, but I also can understand that they're of age to make their own decisions. So everyone has different circumstances in life. You know, you could have a full ride scholarship to school. Other women don't get that privilege. Not saying that all sex workers have to do sex work, but I'm in no position to judge young women who are just trying to get by. Okay, that's fine. So then we can just agree then that there's nothing actually immoral with an 18-year-old dating a 40-year-old, right? Well, you're bringing up sex work. Dating is different than sex work. Why would it be okay for them to, to have a physical relationship with each other as long as there was money involved? Because that is a job and one is dating. Why would you paying somehow change the dynamic of this power dynamic, which is what you're against, right? It's still a massive power dynamic issue, isn't it? I think we all agree that it's not immoral. It's not it Im- just could be inappropriate, which is yes. a it just, an opinion more than it is. Well, what a fact. does inappropriate mean? If, like, I think what it's does just that an mean? opinion. I, I think different things are inappropriate, probably than Brooklyn and Lily do. Like it, what? Like, I mean, Lennon. do you want me to say things I think are inappropriate? It, gi- it gives yeah. them the ick. <laughs> yeah, I just want to hear that it gives you the ick. There's it, nothing think, immoral about it. It's just icky. You just think it's icky. I just think that different things are inappropriate than other things that I'm sure other people find inappropriate. Things I might find inappropriate, other people might not. Okay. Things just for the sake based. of time, I do have to move things on a okay. little bit. I didn't really get an answer, though. I'll come back to this quick. <laughs> we were talking about commonality. I still haven't really heard what men and women have in common. I'm opening this up to the pen. Men men and women in general, or men and women (laughs) as in 18 and 40-year-olds? What would be something that a man and and a woman could have in common that would be sufficient enough for them to want to date simply by virtue of having a commonality? Maybe their religion. Religion. Okay, but what, like, within the context of age... So we have something in common because we're about the same age. A 70-year-old and a 20-year-old could have religion in common. Well, I think there's a higher chance of maybe both people not having kids. Some people would be very important to them as it is to me. I wouldn't be with a man that right. has let's a assume child that, because I want it to be our both first Let's experience. assume this hypothetical 30-year-old doesn't have kids and neither does the 20-year-old. It really is so situational. Yeah. Well, but I but you you said like okay if it has to do with age, what do they have? Because you brought up they graduated. Well, they recently graduated at the same time. Has anybody ever dated somebody? Oh, we graduated at the same time. Let's fuck. Has that ever happened? 
Probably. I'm sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because people, that's, that's not because I find her attra else. physically attractive. I think it's all of it. The more you have in common with them. But yeah. okay. Why don't you think life really? stage is a big thing to have in common? Like experiencing you can adulthood have it in for common. the first time. Right. But if that was the attraction trigger, then all high school students would be attracted to all high school students, which clearly isn't the case, right? So it's clear to me that commonality on its own okay. is not sufficient enough to create attraction between two people. But I don't think any one thing is. I think the stage in life is more sufficient for like securing a bond, but also do you think that most high schoolers don't date other high schoolers? Of course, high schoolers date other high schoolers. I think, I'm, like it's, I think it seems pretty normal that people date within their Yeah, life. most people date around their age, mm -hmm. I would say. But this idea that you are precluded from finding somebody outside, like if you're precluded from finding somebody who's uh, 10 years your senior, you can't find them attractive because they're not your, your age. Is... I don't think anyone's putting like a hard stop on it. I think a lot of women just have the experience with older men where it is a little bit more predatory or uncomfortable. Exactly. I don't even it's think only it's only predatory more... one direction. It's only predatory when men do it. Most women go through that experience. Go through what experience? Dealing. that are attracted to you when you're 21 or younger okay well let's talk about adult relationships so find 18 and up sure. women have the experience of being adults at 18 with men who are 30 being attracted to them and oftentimes they turn out to be predatory just a lot of men are they just are if it wasn't illegal why shouldn't i date a 16 year old i'm only 21 not even well we're talking about adults here so but like, You're the one who's making it about uh, underage. Yeah, you can make the same argument the same exact way. It, I, it, we'd love, I, look, I, I'd be happy to get into it, so would Brian, but there are restrictions to the stream that we can't do anything about, so keep it above the 18 mark. Usually. Do you think a car salesman is going to have an easier time selling to somebody that's 40 or somebody that's 18? Getting somebody to make a bad decision? I don't decision? know. I'm not an expert in I think sales. that they would have a lot easier time selling to somebody who's 18. A lot. Why? Well, because I think that somebody who's 18 probably doesn't have the requisite experience that a 40-year-old would have when selecting a car. I think that's kind of my point. Oh, yeah. that's your point. So then you're saying that 18-year-olds should not be able to buy cars. No. Well, wait, hang on. Why not? Why shouldn't 18-year-olds I mean, be able to buy cars? I think they should still be able to buy cars, but I think we can also acknowledge... Wait, but it, the salesman's predatory. Against 18 year olds, because you can yeah, more those, easily sell those two, them a car. those two things can still be true. You well, okay, still, yeah, okay, so those two things are still predatory. can still be true. I agree. So he's he's predatory because he's selling her a car, and she is does not have the requisite experience of a 40 year old to buy that car. So it's going to be easier for him, right? Yes. So then, why would you let 18 year olds buy cars? Just because an 18 year old. Hang on, let her answer. I think, sorry, I'm just trying to acknowledge that you can take advantage of people that are inexperienced. Yeah, but I want you to acknowledge it. that if you agree that this is something which is happening, that 18-year-olds are getting taken advantage of in this situation or in any other situation, then why do you let them do that shit? I'm sorry, but we didn't make the rules. Yeah, I know. I'm not talking. Hang on. Just let's, I'm talking to her. Why do you let them do this stuff if you think that everybody is being predatory towards them because they're so stupid and inexperienced that they can't make good decisions like 40-year-olds? That's what I don't get. I guess at some point you have to allow people to make their own decisions. But that yeah, that's right. And that what point do we allow okay people to make their own decisions? Hang on. What point do we allow people to make their own decisions? We allow it. At 18. So I guess at 18 they can make their own decision to date a 40-year-old man, right? And that still doesn't negate the fact that people can be predatory towards them. And it doesn't negate the fact that they should be allowed in all conditions to date a year old man if they no like to. No one's saying they shouldn't be allowed to. Aren't you, though? Isn't that weird that you think that they should be allowed to, even though you think that it's predatory? That's really strange. Like, I would say my logical brain does this. It goes, wait, if there's some industry which is super predatory towards a single group, then I would try to get rid of that industry. Wouldn't you try to get rid of the... That's, doesn't that make more sense? I mean, in some cases, I would, yeah, I probably would agree for certain industries, but... Yeah, but just not with used car salesmen. They're allowed to sell cars to 18-year-olds. 
Yeah. Appliance salesman. What about houses? Can 18 year olds buy houses? Wouldn't wouldn't a real estate agent be more easily convincing towards an 18 year old as well? We just got to let those 18 year olds at some point. We just got to let them spread their wings and fly. Are you going to stop advising your children when they turn 18? <laughs> no. Are you going to stop trying to like, are you just going to stop trying to direct them in the right direction and help them make better decisions? No. Okay. That's all we're talking about. We're not saying you should be you? able to do. I agree. I agree. That's something that you wouldn't know because you're a lot older. Exactly. Can't date a girl if you don't know what her little. Man, yeah, just, just, just crazy it. stuff. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I just want to finish this. I'll wrap it real quick, Brian. Okay. I just want to make sure that I get this right. That 18 year olds are out there being preyed on every day by hyper predatory industries and people. But you think that they should be in order to gain experience. And it's not going to stop me from that advising means that them. 40 year old men who are out there being predatory that's good for 18 year old women because that's how they gain experience i appreciate that very much nice okay thing. i still haven't heard anything on the commonality thing that's particular